This video is a walkthrough of the international transfer options at the Beijing Capital International Airport, Terminal 3, which is the new terminal for Air China and Star Alliance partner airlines. This is a very early morning arrival from the US, so the terminal is relatively empty. On your right hand side are the self-service biometric machines. You should use them if you plan to pass immigration and enter China. The machine will scan your passport and then may ask for a set of fingerprints and a photo. It will then give you a printed receipt. These two counters support both available transit options. We will get more information about this later in the video. So we have, you have two choices. Right. First, you are going to apply for uh, the temporary stay permit and stay permit right. like visa. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then you can go to the terminal three. Right. Do you want to listen to the second choice? Right. Uh, there's a counter over there. That's an airline counter, not an immigration counter. Right. Uh, just behind the, the right. 24 hours, and uh, maybe one hour. If you if, if you wait uh, for one hour, well. you will be open to get home. For direct international transit, you should have an onward boarding pass. If you do not have a boarding pass for your next flight, you can get one at the airline transfer counter on the right. Scan your boarding pass at the gate and proceed through security to the international departures. At this early hour, transfer counter was still closed. Instead of waiting, I've decided to see how fast we could go all the way land side and back. You can see the total time in the bottom left of the screen. I am traveling with my daughter at this time, and she does not have a Chinese visa. So our first stop is at the transit without visa counter to get her an entry permit. Think we can do it in one hour? This early hour, the lines are short, so we're done with immigration fairly quickly. A train connects the international pier to the main part of the terminal. If your bags are not checked through, this is where you would collect them from the belt.
take an elevator to the departures on the second floor. At this time, no line at check-in either. Now, back to the train that will return us to the International Terminal. There is a bit of a line at immigration, but it moves fast. Our last stop is a security check and we're back to the international departures in just under 1 hour 20 minutes. This is probably the optimal scenario, it may take longer at busy times.